Before you go to college, you need to know some things that will save you time, effort, and that will help you make the most out of your college experience. This video will discuss choosing a major, academics, time management, utilizing resources, financial responsibility, mental health awareness, school supplies, and embracing personal growth. So without further ado, we'll get right into it. The most important thing I get out of college is the relationships I build and the networking opportunities to learn with the leaders of the future. Building relationships early on and stepping out of your comfort zone to meet others is very important. Most friend groups are made in the first few weeks, but don't let that discourage you from meeting people of all ages anytime in your college experience. Establish valuable personal relationships in college that can turn into professional relationships beyond college. Meet everyone and get your name out there. Do not sleep on the opportunities that you have in college. College. This is the only time you're going to be here with thousands of people who want to better themselves and, and have fun in the process. So meet people. Choose the right major early on or wait until your sophomore year. The first year, you could take all your gen eds while you're still figuring it out. You don't want to pick the wrong major and then change it because you waste credits and time when you transfer majors. So for example, if you've already taken three criminal justice classes your first year and then you're changing your major and you have no interest in criminal justice, then you basically just wasted time. Figure it out early on and don't rush it. However, it is okay to experiment and take other classes within other majors to figure out which one best fits you. Take time to reflect on your interests, passions, and strengths and what you really want to do in life. Understanding yourself and your values will help you align your major with your long-term goals and help you become more fulfilled learning something that you are passionate about. Research specific majors you like in career fields that will open up these majors. Consider your goals within your careers when making that decision. A big mistake a lot of people make is not using their college degree. Lots of people work in fields and have nothing to do with their major, so avoid that mistake. Now, let's dive into academics. If you want to learn how to become an academic weapon in school, check out that video that I have made specifically for those to excel in school. The pace of college is pretty quick. Assignment pop up out the blue. You have to be organized with your classes and attend your classes so you know what's going on. College is not the most difficult, but it requires your full focus and effort. Get all the assignments done and use your teachers as references in college. Use them as resources. Don't make the mistake of coming to school with a whole backpack full of school supplies. Colleges have all the resources you need. You really only need a notebook and a pen to take notes in class or to do in-person assignments that's pretty much it. Now, investing in a good computer is definitely worth it and it will help you a lot. I bought a MacBook Pro because all the information is synced to my iPhone and it makes it easier to do schoolwork. Having a computer allows you to do schoolwork all the time, take online notes, and be more organized and productive. The last thing you may want is a printer for your convenience. However, it is not required. One of the biggest mistakes you can make in college is not utilizing the resources around you. Campuses offer tutoring, writing tutoring as well, study groups for those who need help in classes or just writing essays. There are many career services along the lines of counseling, resume creation, job and internship connections. Take advantage of the libraries for study time, the electronics that they have there that you can borrow. They even have computers you can borrow. I mean, they have computers sitting out as well. You can use that. And it's just a space away from life to just reflect and be in your own mind. Check out the rec centers as well. Use the pools, use the weights, use the recreational activities your school may offer. You pay for it, use it. Most colleges have clinics with health insurance, so check that out. Have regular checkups, you know what I mean? Use your resources. Also, clubs are very big. Join clubs, just join it, go to one meeting. If you don't like it, don't go again. If you like it, go again. But it's always worth to check out clubs, Greek life, all that. Time management. Schedule your life and stay committed to your goals early in the the day. It's easy for those assignments to slip past you, so you have to dedicate study time in a quiet and peaceful environment to get all your assignments done. Track what you need to get done and do it. Make time for fun and go out to social events. Reward yourself at the end of the day. Always make time to meet people, have fun with friends, but get your work done. Financial aid and scholarships are at the tip of your finger. All you have to do is extend out 
and grab it. Search for scholarships like you would find someone on Tinder. Keep swiping and swiping. Keep swiping and swiping and shooting your shot until you finally make it. Manage your money well and don't waste it on bad habits like Starbucks every morning or a bottle of Patron every week. It all adds up and it can run through your savings. Trust me. It's always fun to work a part-time job on or near campus and it also gives you the opportunity to meet other students and to make money to take care of your bills or for extra spending money. A few side hustles in college that I've seen people do is donating plasma. You can get around $100 every time you donate plasma. Personally, I'm not sticking a needle in me and you're not taking my blood, but it is very popular nowadays. So if it's for you, check it out. You could also start your own business by selling items to college students or offering services like, hey girl, I'm gonna do your eyelashes or hey girl, I'm gonna do your nails or babysitting, cleaning, cutting hair. There's plenty of hustles you can do in college. Take care of your mental health. A lot of students experience stress, anxiety, and just pressure to do well. Meditate and take time to yourself. Look into free counseling services provided by your school. Eat healthy and maintain an exercise routine to keep your body and mind healthy. Embrace your personal growth and make the most out of your college experience. Grow and get better at what you do in life. Develop the skills you need to become successful in your areas of life. Learn from others, seek knowledge from teachers, and become the best version of yourself. Hear me out, the last gem you need to know about college is it goes by fast. You look up, I'm in my senior year. I just started my freshman year yesterday. Get out, meet people, go to everything, go to the football games, go to the pool at the rec, go to the library, experience everything and get the value that you're paying thousands of dollars for. Use your resources and make the most out of your college experience. Don't let it go by. You only have four years. You will never be in an environment like this again. So take advantage of it and become the best person you can be. Check out my video on how to become an academic weapon on my page if you want to learn more about you know becoming a 4.0 student thank you all for watching i appreciate you all like and subscribe leave a comment if you have any questions or anything peace